Yeah, this is kind of a weird set, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, guys, um, welcome back to another part from the vlog corner here. And yeah, I'm actually recording one in the day. Well, it's sort of in the evening, but um, close to it. So yeah, there's actually light outside my window uh, this time. So yeah, guys, hello everybody. I'm recording you guys finally in the day after like billion, jillion, um, recordings at night, so I'm shooting at like 6.50, um, well, what am I kidding, 6.20, so this thing is super off, um, yeah guys, welcome back to another vlog from the vlog corner here, I'm going to put you guys down right here. I'm actually playing Pokemon uh, Ultra Moon uh, right now. See you again. So yeah, guys, this is going to be me playing and... Um, this is going to be the me playing um, the game and talking to you guys edition. I have some Pokemon from real crazy stats, to be honest. Um, but yeah, guys, I've been playing this for about a couple hours now, actually. Um, don't tell anybody that I've been doing this. But, um, you know, it's it's um, it's a pretty cool game, I have to say the least. Um, I now have all the Garden DVTs, so I'm good with that. So yeah, guys, I'm back, your humble host, Mike Mo here, here for another um, book from the vlog corner. I think it's like three minutes and 40 seconds in. But uh, I just want to put this off for a couple of minutes and talk to you guys. Um, so yeah, guys, here I am on Monday. Uh, I'm not working today. I didn't work today, so I had the time off, so I thought I'd clean my room and... Um, I clean my room today. Um, did that sort of, and I have to sort of clean up all these bottles that don't belong. But um, yeah, guys, um, just wanted to shoot one earlier in the day because you know I've been missing shooting these um, and everything. So yeah. Um, so last night I got to chance to see um, something that I haven't seen a commercial in uninterrupted. Family Guy episode, and um, I'm not going to spoil it for those of you, because actually I don't even want to spoil it because it's a Family Guy episode, so why, don't, why would I? Um, all I'll tell you is that it just has the same gruesome end as usually the mall. Usually it gets good and it's like twice the end. It's really crap. So yeah. Um, 
I'm going to tell you guys right now that um, things are um, things are looking wild in the world for me, and um, so yeah, guys. Um, yeah, I'm having a good time playing, uh, being. You know, just relaxing. So, wanted to get something um, out of out of the way. So at work, we're actually going to be changing our procedures. How we're going to be pushing and pulling stuff at work um, from a certain team member. I'm not going to name because um, I don't think you want to hear the name anymore because I'm done with it. Um, but from a certain team member that I know in the back room. Is in my team, but it's in the back room as well. Uh, is going to be um, we're going to be timed uh, how we push and pull product to the floor. I think this would be kind of good because we're getting bought by. For those for those of you who aren't aware, we're we're I think we're going to be bought by Amazon. So um, that's going to be an interesting thing to say the least. Um, and it's going to be disturbing, fun, uh, whatever you want to say about it. It's going to be um, an interesting It's going to be an interesting time, I guess, in the world of um, retail. And I think this is the way forward. I mean, some people may have a problem with it. I don't, quite honest. Um, I think it would be good to test myself, uh, see how far I've come in the last... Uh, year or so since I started market because um, we're beginning it in April I believe April ish um, yeah we're beginning it in April ish so uh, so all almost have been um, market a year uh, I've been in the market almost um, 10 months now it'll be 11 next month it'll be 11 next month it'll be 11 next month and then I'll be have have been in market a year. I'm surprised it took me. I, I I will have to say this. Last year when I got the position, I didn't really expect to be transferred over. I I was in on sales for less than uh, less than a year, uh, guys. Um, when I got it, because I was on sales for um, with July, so. Um, so August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April. I was on the floor literally nine months. <coughs> when I got the job. Now of course obviously I got it on the tenth, so I was so um but I got promoted on nine months. Um, so less than a year, guys. You know how long it took some of the people who, who are in market to get there? It took them about two, three years. It took me, it took me two seconds. So I want to see. This is going to be a proper test of seeing how far I've come, and how more far um, things have progressed over the last couple of years. Sorry, pause one minute. Alright, I'm back. So yeah, guys, it's been less than a year, and you know, it's been fun and everything. But I think now that I'm almost at 10 years, because um, right now, because my, uh, my anniversary is in August 31st, so... Um, So I literally have March, April, March, April, May, June, July, August. So I have six months. Six months, five, actually. Now that this uh, five months to go, so um, I'm halfway there, guys. I'm two and a half years in already, um, and you know. I'm at the halfway point of two and a half years. Um, I'm not two and a half years. Ten. I'm, I've been. 
that store about almost 10 years. So it'd be great to keep and stay there. Um, I'm going to be working with my um, leaders to see that I stay up to par. And I definitely want to see change happen at the store. And I have to be positive that change is going to be good for the store. So we'll see. Um, so a positive attitude plus showing it over time will be good. Um, I will tell you guys that um, I'll let you guys know how it's going um, as as the weeks go by. Because um, it's happening in another two weeks. So it'll be back when... So, yeah, it will definitely be in April's when things will be changing. And um, I say this, that's how I learned. That's who I learned it from. Yeah, not the month, the person that I used to know. I don't know. Um, but everything. But that's near here or there. I just want to say, um, I just want to say it's just going to be an honor to see what, see what, see how this goes. I'm, I'm interested. I definitely want to get quicker at pushing this stuff. I definitely want to quicken the pace. I definitely am. Uh, you know me. I'm always for a challenge because I never back down from one. That other. And that stuff. But enough about that. So this weekend, um, um, I think after every weekend, I, um, ever after every endurance race weekend, I do a roundup of all the stuff that happened. Um, so, for those of you guys who know, I I cover WeatherTech Sports Car Championship stuff um, because I go to Lime Rock every July. This is actually going to be a very good year sports car wise because things are changing and new teams are moving up and things are going to get uh, more difficult in GT class racing um, because BMW has entered the fray and has brought a contender that can actually run well. And. So, the 12 hours of Sydney was run this weekend. I actually watched uh, it on combination. I watched it on TV. I watched it on um, online, and I also watched it. Uh, I also watched live uh, the live radio broadcast from Radio Le Mans, which is a great thing to listen to because John Hindo, the guy, the voice of Radio Le Mans, is actually pretty good. Um, he's really good at calling the action. He's a bit. He can get a bit excitable at times, but he's really good. Um, so, um, I believe in, um, continental classes, I believe Ford won, I don't know who won, uh, Street Tuner, I really, not sure, but, um, all I know is Ford keeps on winning here and there. So, in, um, I may go on a rant here. So, from what my knowledge, um, and from when I watch the races, um, so GT Daytona, um, it was more of a back and forth race. There were multiple manufacturers running. There was, um, you know, there was uh, Lamborghini, Porsche, um, Ferrari. I think a Lamborghini came out, came out on top. I'm not sure. Uh, I believe a Lamborghini came out on top. Of, um, From what I know, um, yeah, from what I know, I think Lamborghini won um, GT Daytona. Yeah, Mill, Paul Miller Lamborghini wins GT Daytona, and Lamborghini. From I'm just going to talk about Lamborghini for a second because I know they were in the news when they first. Oh. 
But Lamborghini over the last two years is really improving. Um, they're uh, they're doing well. The winning race is here and there. Um, I think this. I don't know if this is going to be their year, but we'll have to wait and see because um, it's definitely going to be a toss up. Um, they're definitely not have to not have, they're definitely not having problems, you know, with air restrictors or weight or anything else like that, because, um, that sort of thing, and, um, <clears throat> in GT Le Mans, it was a back and forth battle between a couple of manufacturers, I think it was Ford, Chevy, Chevy was in there at one point, um, BMW was also leading at one point, their M8 GTL, GTEs, um, are really coming up, really coming together right now, and um, they were pretty quick all weekend, they actually showed some pretty good pace. Um, I'm looking for them to be good at smaller, tighter tracks, so definitely tracks like Long Beach, they'll definitely be good. Lime Rock, I'm definitely thinking they'll be challenging for wins there. Um, something to uh, crowd the Chevy dominance, because this is the first time, I think, in ever since the start of the uh since the 16th season that chevy has failed to at least score or score well in the first um in the top two positions in class because porsche ended up sweeping the podium i think it was uh that bmw and one of the corvettes came fourth and he was really with the number four because the number three had power problems and it cut a tire it had power problems throughout the race I think they were like 60, 70 laps down by the end. Um, and, um, you know, uh, kudos to Porsche because Porsche is doing really well right now. Their, their RSR 911 is probably, arguably, a very nice race car. I've seen it. It's very loud. And the RSR is definitely a cool machine to witness. Oh yeah, by the way, um, a LMP2 an LMP2 uh, got tagged a, uh, an LMP um, no, a GT Daytona Ferrari at the, uh, the Ferraris ended up, um, one of the Ferraris ended up ending up on its roof. Um, forget how many laps they did, but uh, I think it was around 350-something odd laps um, that they completed. Uh, well, the overall race leaders completed. Um, it's definitely going to be a um, it's definitely going to be a good season. I think Chevy's going to have a little bit harder time. I think Ford is also going to have a little harder time. Although I think Ford might might show their muscle some at some point. And something like that. Prototype was uh, kind of like it was, was, was weird. Um, at times, I thought one manufacturer was going to win, another manufacturer was going to win, and then another one. So, the way how it the way how it went was the three top man the three top manufacturers that kind of shit the lead were Mazda, um, Nissan, and Cadillac. Um, all three led. I thought Mazda was really going to do good. Mazda was second, like with them, like an out, like forty something one minutes to go. Uh, Cadillac was was leading. Nissan absolutely dominated, and they actually were the ones who ultimately won it in their uh, Nissan DPI uh, Ligier. Um, I think uh, um, I think a Cadillac came second, third, and then I think uh, the 
I think another Cadillac, I think another P2 came second. A regular Gibson powered P2. And then I think, um, and I think uh, Mazda came third, came like sixth or seventh because they had an electronic pro an electrical problem. Um, Penske led, um, Penske, the Penske Axers also led, but they were out before halfway, so they weren't really ever in contention to begin with. They, they led a couple, they led a few people going to say, oh, they led, um, but they ended up dropping out in six and seven dollars, so they dropped about half, halfway and just, be, just beyond halfway. Um, bummer because they were really doing well. I thought they were really going to do something. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully in a sprint race, they do good. Hopefully they can pull it together at Long Beach because um, they took Penske three races uh, in 06 to kind of get it right. I think that they're going to, um, I think that they're going to do super, super well um, in their third race at Long Beach. They definitely, I want because I know it's going to be prototype in GTLM and um, at Long Beach, GTD is not going to be in there because we're not going to have any, um, because we're not going to have any, uh, ball neck crashes up, up a turn, but the left turn at the hairpin, for those of you who watch the racing, well, no. So yeah, um, yeah, you guys are probably still, yeah, there's still daylight outside, it's not going anywhere, um, I'm only at, uh, I'm only at 642, so, this is a long daytime vlog, cause, I figured, I might want to do a long one during the day, you know, um, all, was, uh, all in all, the race was, race was quite quite entertaining and um I did not watch the end um all as I know is that um is that um Porsche ended up taking it uh, Porsche ended up taking GTLM Lamborghini GT Daytona and then Prototype one to um, actually, you know what? Sports car three sixty five could possibly have could probably possibly have the uh, the results because they're the ones that. All I know is it was around 350 laps. Um, it was it was a good race. I think, you know, we'll we'll see what's what. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm gonna stop right there because it's already been long. Um, look for another one tomorrow afternoon um, when I get home. I'm probably it's gonna probably be later in the evening, but at least I got the first day vlog out of the way. It's currently it's almost 6:44. So, as usual, everybody, long live America, God bless America, long live democracy, long live the Second Amendment, long live my grandparents' spirits, I meant to both of them, thank you very much, have a good day, Mike Moore, for another vlog here, here on March 18th, or March 19th, I it's March 19th, yeah, it's March 19th, 2018, here, day, day of entry, 563, I'll see you guys in the next one, see you guys in the next vlog.